it's a comedy set in a future world, 3052, where men have become an endangered species. And the specimen is Adam, one of the last few surviving males on Earth who's kept in a research facility. And basically, it's a comical take on gender stereotypes, looking at um, how we view ourselves as male and feminine, masculine and feminine, and how that might change over time. What inspired Specimen? What, what made you think of it one day? Well, the theatre company is called Loosely Based, and that's because a lot of my work tends to be loosely based on real events or true stories. And I came across, it's probably about a couple of years ago now, um, some press releases and uh, science reporting, which was talking about how much more difficult it is to make male embryos than to make female embryos, and predicting that a possible way in which men might die out in future is a failure of the Y chromosome. And I just thought that that was really, really interesting. I didn't know anything about that. And I stored that away in my head and it sort of emerged as a comical, humorous play much, much later on, because that's what actually happened in my play, that the Y chromosome has failed because men in the 21st century have ceased to have any relevant, meaningful role. So it seems like quite serious, in a way, serious underlying subjects, but with a comical tone. Yes, I think I've always tended to do that because I find one of the best ways to raise important issues is to get people to laugh and to get them thinking. It doesn't necessarily preach at people by telling them what my stance on gender stereotyping is, but it raises issues that hopefully people might go away then and have some conversations about.